Hi, welcome to What's Up with DJ. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and a review of the Dash 8-inch Express Griddle. So let's get started. Um, if you'd like to like and subscribe to my channel, that would be greatly appreciated. And um, so what we did here is I got on the bandwagon with TikTok and I wanted to get a dash griddle. Um, they do have the smaller ones that are like all the rave right now, the little four inch ones. Uh, the four inch ones you can get like in a waffle type or a griddle or a grill but I wanted to go ahead and get the 8 inch one because I didn't want to be as limited with a little tiny teeny one even though they're cute and I didn't want to have to buy more than one so what would be more most efficient for me would be this 8 inch one and I choose the griddle which is the flat one because I didn't want to be you know limited with waffle you know the waffle style one I don't really make waffles and um, so I wanted a griddle where it would be more versatile for me and I would be able to do a lot more different things on it. Um, you know, I'm going to be able to do quesadillas and mini pizzas and meat and cheese things and I mean pancakes and I mean eggs, bacon, it's unlimited what you can do on this. So here's a little packet you get um, which has the little uh, manual in there and it had some you know troubleshooting gut tips and some <clears throat> excuse me a few recipes a lot of the recipes were egg related so I won't be doing them because I don't really do eggs too much um, but and troubleshooting but I mean why do you really need to troubleshoot a little electric grill that's plugged in that you put food on that's all you do so but you know there's always somebody that might want to read the troubleshooting just in case um, so it's packaged very well and we're going to go ahead and take off the plastic and have a look at it. Now I chose red. I do know that they have a, a light teal turquoise kind of color also. Um, so you're just going to have to decide, you know, if you want the griddle, the waffle type, which one you want, and then the colors are, you know, depending on which one you choose. Now there's a blue light right there in the middle, and when you plug it in, the light will light up while it's heating up. Once it's fully heated, then the blue light will turn off, and that means it's ready for you to put your food on there. I do like that it has the raised uh, edges so that when you do set something on there it's kind of enclosed when you shut the lid um, to help it where it won't you know leak out as much or anything like that. Now there's no latch on this one all it does is it just simply goes down and it's gonna you know with the weight of it it's gonna push down your food if you have food that's you know taller in there. I'm just going to show you how it looks all around the edge. Like I said, it's fully enclosed. It's got the little vent hole so it can vent. You see those little holes? Here's the bottom. I believe it says it goes up to 760 watts, which is pretty good. And I like the fact that you can store it like this. You can turn it sideways when it's clean. You know, put it right there in like, uh, you know, your pantry or your cupboard or up on a shelf or, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I have it plugged in. The blue light is lit up. And I'm going to be making a beef French dip, like a beef dip sandwich. Now the light's gone off. So I'm going to start putting in my roast beef in here. Well, first I'm going to spray it with the cooking spray and if it looks like I've already used it it's because I did use it one time briefly right before I shot the video um, for another sandwich but 
So we're going to put our roast beef on here. And this roast beef I made like a couple days ago, super good. I did it on the sous vide in the Instant Pot. I have a video of it on my channel. But put me some roast beef uh, slices on there. I'm gonna cut that piece in half and just put a little, another little piece. I'm gonna take a nice uh, big slice of smoked provolone cheese, put that right on top. We're gonna shut that griddle and let it go for a couple minutes. You can see the steam coming out of the back. This griddle does get very hot, so you wanna be real careful where you're touching it. I have it sitting on a silicone trivet underneath to protect the table. Get out my bread. Yeah, but you'll be able to make lots of stuff in here. I'm looking forward to doing all kinds of things in here. I'm by myself and single, so this is going to come in handy for me. I mean, I use an air fryer a lot. I use a pressure cooker a lot, but I like kitchen gadgets, so this is pretty cool. Okay, and we got our melted cheese all on there and browned on the top. And then what I'm going to do is put my bread right back on there to kind of grill it up and toast it up a bit. I didn't put any sugar, I mean not sugar, I didn't put any uh, butter or anything like that on the griddle. I'm just letting it, you know, with the oil that's on there already, just, just to kind of toast the bread up a bit, harden it up. And I'm going to turn it over because Sometimes the top griddle doesn't make as good contact with the, you know, the top, so you might have to flip it. It's going to be good for making grilled cheese or anything, any kind of grilled sandwich in here. It's going to be really, really nice. Quesadillas and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and cut the sandwich and have a look at the inside. And here's the inside, nice and smoky and hot. And the bread slightly toasted on the outside. And that was my phone starting to ring, I apologize for that. Here's the cheese, uh, all melted in between. Nice and steamy and good. And we're gonna go ahead and dip it in the odd juice. That was left over from my roast beef, nice and hot. And this was very good, very nice, tender, good sandwich. I was not disappointed at all. So I thank you for watching my video of the review of the Dash 8-inch griddle. Um, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, it would help me get going with my channel. And I wish you guys a very nice day. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.